Hey, it's me again. I come to you to answer a question about how you copy and paste tracks, which is basically looping is what I'm going to do. I created a eight or a four measure track and four four timing. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, out. There. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this repeat three times, so it'll play a total of four times, and I'm not going to put any gap in it. So, if I don't leave a gap, it'll play simultaneously, or not simultaneously, that ain't the word I'm looking for, it'll just play continuously. There we go. Okay, so, first I want to set my in and out point, and for no gap, I want my end point to be right at the beginning of the song. So right as the song starts, right, my song starts right at 528. That's exactly where it starts. So I'm going to hit shift and set in. And if you look at it on the screen I've showed you before, it says set in. So now I'm going to go ahead and play it, get to the end of the song, stop. The end of my song is 11.04, so now I'm going to hit shift, set out, and on the screen it says set out, and for, then I'm going to hit shift up here, and I'm going to hit set to, right here, so this is where it's going to start playing again, so the out and the two are on the same exact spot when you want there to be no gap. Your end point is at the very beginning of the song as soon as it starts and your out and in are on the very same spot if you want no gap. It's really hard to do so stop rewind take you back to the beginning then you're gonna go up and hit track edit you're gonna hit copy and paste which is the top one so yes slash enter and then we're gonna keep our source track which is number one which is what is set on destination track I want to keep it on one and then copy times I want to copy it three times for a total of four times three plus the copy I'm gonna hit yes slash enter right here and it made it so go back to the beginning press play one two three four Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Okay. So that is how you do it. Um. See, it's a really hard thing to grasp. It is. It takes a lot of concentration in how to do this. Um, if you want a large gap, you just have to set your in and out points in different places. Um, if you want zero gap, like I said, if you want it to play completely over from beginning to end, just like that, it has to be... The end point has to be directly in front of your song, right at the very beginning, on the second. And the out and the two points have to be on the same exact spot. Um, if you want to leave a gap, put your out and two points in the same spot together and put your um, end point a little further ahead of your song. That's why I left plenty of space, but, you know, you can use a two-measure song on 4-4 timing and leave a four-minute intro that's nothing there, just time in between as kind of a time lapse in between. So, um, you know, it takes a lot of time to do this. Uh, my viewer actually asked on how to make a demo and if you're using actual stuff like this, uh, using guitars and stuff, that is how you do it. You just record your track, and once you've recorded your track, 
you go to copy paste and you paste it as many times as you want and really it's just a matter of messing around with it and I get you'll get really frustrated I know but play around with the in and out points and make sure you have the two point and make sure that you get your stuff right and a little trick I will tell you um, this helps a lot this is tricky but it's an advanced technique if some of you haven't got to it yet I just did this for you guys how I made it repeat like I did so it repeats three times since I did that if I was to have messed it up say I don't like this say it's too much of a gap all I have to do to do to get undo that make sure that it's stopped make sure it's at the beginning and where it says undo redo you can't see it because my camera light but you're gonna press undo redo and there's a little light comes on and that light will stay on once that light is on it undoes it will undo the last thing you did and the last thing that I did was set my in and out points and I um, copied it three times so now it's just my regular song and it'll only play one time one two three four two two three four done that's all it uh, so if you mess it up you can just hit undo if that's the last thing you done just hit undo and it'll undo it take you right back to what you had before and then once again you can go in set your in and out points all again do it over again and if you mess up just hit undo redo um i hope it helps um if you will just uh rate comment subscribe and uh help me out i i hope i've been helping you guys so um I really do hope that I'm helping you. So, uh, if there are any more questions, I can help with them. Um, anything like that. But for now, I will see you guys later. I'm trying to find one thing before I leave here. I will put some more videos on. I know I've been kind of working backwards, but I think I might do, for some of you starters out there, some different things like um, a how to use effects and some of the other uh, objects on here. There's a guitar tuner, for those of you that didn't know that, that I may show you how to use some of the functions. Um, I may eventually do something on how to export tracks and export songs i don't know eventually but um again thanks for watching rate comment subscribe and have a good day